Kayak Fishing Tales is brought to you by Werner and their new Hook Series of Kayak Fishing Paddles. The Hook Series of Paddles are available in the Kamano, Shuna, Skagit, and Tybee and come in two fish attracting colors. The best kayak fishing paddle is a great paddling paddle, a Werner paddle. So the next step, after you've got your uh, head unit mounted on the uh, kayak, is to get the transducer and power connected. Now one of the really cool things about this Jackson kayak, as it relates to this Raymarine Dragonfly fish finder, is that the transducer is very long and narrow and shallow. The Jackson kayak has a groove or channel down the bottom of the kayak and this is gonna sit right up inside that channel. I'm gonna use the scupper hole under my seat as the transducer scupper. So the uh, transducer will be there, the wires are gonna run right up through that scupper, and then I'll run them to the fish finder. Really simple, simple, simple stuff. Probably one of the most difficult things that you'll have to deal with is a mount to hold that transducer up there. Now, um, this comes with a different type of mount and I've replaced it with a, uh, a mount that I happened to find and I couldn't even tell you where I got it, um, but I used it on an old fish finder. Um, it's a long plastic nut that will attach right to the, uh, the top of the transducer and that bolt is gonna go up through the scupper hole. I'm gonna put on this big gasket, basically, or giant washer that I cut a notch in for the wire to run through and then a simple wing nut. I mean, this is just as easy as it gets. Now, there are other ways to do it. You can actually uh, use uh, marine goop and put the transducer inside the hull, which is a pretty traditional way of putting uh, transducers in, but I've always liked to go on the exterior of the hull if I can, and again, it makes this so easy to take from one kayak to another. So the next step is to just run the wires up to the transducer. The cool thing about this fish finder it's a simple plug. Now I'm gonna get some dielectric grease, uh, which protects it from the corrosion and salt water and put that on there. But this is just gonna plug right into the back of the fish finder and then you turn it and it's locked in. So there's your um, signal from the transducer as well as the power. The, the unit comes with just bare power wires and you can set that up any way you like for whatever kind of battery you're using. Uh, a sealed lead acid or, or other type of batteries. So I'm going to coil up my wires and then just try to keep this really clean, have it along the, the base of the kayak and I'm going to run it right along the side here and I'll put some zip ties there to hold it in place. My power wire, I'm just going to cut a little bit of a notch right here in the side of the, uh, um, this hatch or the hatch opening so my wire will slide down there and my battery is going to sit right down inside the hull. Again, really easy. If I want to take this to another kayak, all I have to do is unplug it, pull the wires out, take the head unit off, and I can go slap this on another kayak in 10 minutes. Very easy, simple way to mount a fish finder on a kayak. Check it out. For outstanding customer service, expert advice, and an extensive selection of quality kayak fishing products, visit Hook One at kayakfishinggear.com.